this Tuesday afternoon pool site. So it doesn't look a lot different, but they have been doing a lot of work. So nothing's changed up at the house, nothing behind me up at the llama barn. Um, they just, they've been working on this and they, they uh, told me what was going on here and I can pass it on to you. They got their metal here in the, still in the ditch as we saw before. What they've done is they put this two by six on top here. What's that? You killed them over there. Oh yeah, okay. Anyway, this two by six, I'll show you what it looks like. Two by six with another two by six underneath it, and they've beveled it. They've beveled it and made a little angle on each side here. And this is screwed to here, so you, if you turned it over, what it's gonna do, that's gonna be sitting in the concrete here. And it's going to make a little channel, a little trough. So as you can see, this underneath part right here is beveled on each side. So what they'll do, the first pour, they'll pour the footing. This will be poured all the way across and down in the channel. And it'll be poured up to the bottom of this 2x6. And so this lower 2x6 is going to create a little like I say, a little channel in the concrete. So, and then on each side of this two by six is gonna be rebar coming up the whole, you know, the whole height of the wall. And that little trough, when they do the second pour, it'll pour, you know, they'll pour the rest of the wall, it'll be right on top of that. And so that little channel, that little trough will make a little key. So the top wall, will lock into that bottom wall because they can't pour it all at once so rather than have a cold joint which is called um, they'll have a little lock a little key lock there so the first pour they pour the footing and in the channel and the second one they pour the wall it'll be all formed up and like I say there'll be a little keyway there that the top wall will sit in anyway it kind of helps lock it in which everybody I talk to obviously this thing isn't going anywhere, but just a little ad added protection. So anyway, that's what they've been working on. Uh, Bob thinks that they'll be pouring at the end of next week. Um, so that'll be good. Get some concrete going. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some more when they get done tomorrow. And uh, we've been working on the the brush and the trees again today. I'll send you another video of that. We were chipping today. Chipped up all that brush down there. So anyway, that's it. End of the day on Tuesday. Everything else looking good. Vineyard looks good. Um, nothing new. Mike, next door, Mike Hughes is putting up some kind of little rock rock pillar oh, i'm going to send you some pictures of that it's a pillar it looks i'm guessing it's for a mailbox but anyway it's right in the driveway the driveway that goes up you know the other driveway that goes up to the back of your place and obviously the driveway that goes up to his place but um anyway i'll show you that i was that was interesting that little thing he's building having some guy build up there i'll show you that anyway that's it i'll talk to you later Oh, there was a fire today. Not not too close. It's Pope Valley. So we went up top there, up top at the llama table, and you could see the smoke. It's way back, way back there. But I got all kinds of calls from people in town saying, thought the fire was here. It looks like it's right on top of us when you're looking at it from Santa Rosa. But it's actually back Pope Valley on the other side of the Napa Valley. Pretty good, burning pretty good. I think it's going to be like a thousand acres, they said. There was a small fire this morning up on Diamond Mountain, and that's just right on the other side of this hill over here. Uh, just real close, but it was kind of cool this morning. They got to it quick and they got it out, so it didn't amount to anything.
But um, so anyway, the fire you may say on the news is not that close to us and it's burning away from us. So nothing to worry about on that one. All right, that's it.